project off-road all-road TDI been driving the car now for a couple months um, been trouble free no uh, no issues I have been playing with the tune quite a bit though to try to get it optimized but there are no check engine lights or any other kind of lights um, but you know with the more efficient TDI engine now you know the car does take longer to heat up and uh, I had been contemplating this for years but I decided to finally pull the trigger and uh, install a remote starter now remote starters are always a kind of a pain in the butt to do on manual transmission cars uh, not so much a pain in the butt to do but just the the sequence that you have to do to set the car for remote starting capability is kind of uh, silly you gotta uh, pull the e-brake up uh, take the key out with the driver's door closed and that signals to the little control module that uh, the car is in neutral you get out of the car lock the car and only then does the engine shut off and that's how it again how the module kind of knows that the car is in neutral you've put the e-brake up you've opened you've taken the key out of the ignition you've opened the driver's door got out closed it so it, it needs the signal from that driver's door or from any door uh to show that the door was opened and closed and that the engine is still running which means the car must be in neutral um and then uh, it, it gets set up for remote starting unfortunately if you were to forget something and had to come back into the car um when you unlock the door it uh and open the door that remote starting setup is uh, is null. Like it basically is gets undone, and you have to start the engine again. Parking brake down, parking brake up. Open uh, key out of the ignition. Open the door, close the door, lock the car, and then it knows again it's in neutral. So, um, in the past, I used to install remote starters all the time. Uh, you know, this is back in the '90s, early 2000s. I didn't have we didn't have this kind of technology here. I got a proximity switch, or we did. It just wasn't easily available. the The internet wasn't really a thing, so. Um, they're harder to find. So I got this proximity switch set up, and this will work on any Audi from mid '90s to right up until the current uh, current cars uh, with manual transmission. That is. So I got a proximity switch uh, sitting just above the the shift selector fork. As you can see down there, there's a a socket head uh, uh, cap screw down there that, as I move it to go into any gear, you can see the light on this uh, proximity sensor shuts off. So basically, I have a, I have the proximity se sensor set right over top of the head of the bolt. And um, only in neutral will it, um, you know, will it uh, send a ground. Now I'm also going to send a ground off the parking brake as a secondary measure. But basically, what we've got here in any gear, in any gear, it will not um, um, send a ground. So this, so this will be kind of it's a neutral safety switch is what I've gotten basically here. So um, I used to use back in the day. I used to use little toggle switches or or other kinds of micro switches around the shifter assembly of different cars to to create these neutral safety switches but uh um but anyways it um this is much this this is contactless and uh should be more reliable um the way the sensor is designed it'll never fail closed so uh you know worst case it just won't start which is nice uh if it were to come out of adjustment uh, there is a possibility that, you know, they could be sending a ground out and the car could start in gear. Um, so what I'm going to do is also going to wire uh, an LED in place and have that uh, likely hidden near the, uh, likely underneath the headlight uh, switch. Just a little, just a little identifier that the car is in neutral because this will be all covered up by all the, uh, the plastic and shifter boot and stuff. So, um, so yeah, this is just, you know, one way to kind of, uh, you know, make the remote car starter installation on a uh, manual transmission car a little easier. Another thing I wanted to put in there is, is some sort of a uh, inertia sensor or inertia switch of some sort that, you know, if the car were to go be in gear and the starter operated and the car lurched forward or backwards, uh, that that would also shut it off. I don't have one here, but uh, I have looked at that in the past. But uh, um, this, the parking brake signal and that neutral safety switch uh, is, uh, you know, as safe as you, you you're ever going to get it because even with the um um the other uh the typical way of a manual transmission remote starter operation sequence to be set if you were to leave a window open anyone could reach in and you know put the car in gear and then the remote starter has no way of knowing that the car is in gear so that whole sequence of parking brake up uh key out of the ignition engine stays running open the driver's door get out close the driver's door lock the car that whole sequence is great and all, but if you leave a window open and you and somebody were to, to notice the car is in neutral and says, "Oh, let's put that in gear," uh, then uh, bad things could happen. So 
this is safer and uh, that's what I'm gonna go with um, did these in the past and I mean, it's my own personal car so uh, I'm not too worried about that so worst case uh, I'll be chasing it down the road when this fails closed yeah so um yeah putting in this uh, Viper uh, what's about one mile it says I I highly doubt it but it's got a long range uh, FM transmitter um, two-way and uh, this I'll be able to start the car nice and early so after about an hour I should have some heat actually you know I, I kid it takes about mm, about uh, about eight minutes or so before there's good heat coming out of the vents but that's uh, I'm at I'm at work in 10 minutes so it's kind of uh, a little bit annoying and the engine, you know, it's a little harder on the engine. I like to let the engine idle, contrary to what some people, you know, say. I like to get, you know, get the oils moving. Uh, it also helps the transmission. Even when it's just sitting there idling, a cold engine idling, spinning up the transmission, that oil starts warming up, and the, the transmission shifts much nicer right from the get-go versus, you know, getting in a cold car. So, yeah, I'm going to hook this up and uh, see if I can't hurt myself. Thank you.